Hello guys welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you another format for CV. This CV can be used by researchers and for graduate assistants and also for people from academic backgrounds. First of all we are going to change the slide size. Change it to A4 and also make it portrait. Click on OK and then press ensure fit. Now remove the outline for click to add title and click to add subtitle. After removing that go to the insert option, go to shapes, take a rectangle and make an outline. In this video, I'm also going to work by making small outlines and sections for each part of my video. So first of all, I'm going to make an outline for my top part. After that, I'm going to copy the rectangle again. I'm going to extend the width, extend the length, and then I'm going to copy that again and paste it on the other side. I will make sure that the size and space in the both sides of the slide is kept same. Now, let's work on the other parts. I'm going to make subsections for each part, which includes work experience, job experience, same actually, internships and scales, languages and publications, domestic and international conferences and what else. Anything that you think is suitable according to your own recommended field, you can add them. Just for a reference, I added three subsections on each side so that I can adjust my own space. So remember, once you are adding something, you can adjust the length and the width of the space depending upon the material that you have. For example, I'll show you shortly. So I'm just going to write my name in a text box and let's just increase the size and bring it back to the original position. Now just try to adjust the font size. I will choose Arial. Arial is a common font and normally when you see a professional writing or academic writing, you will find Arial as a common font. Now let's just copy this text file again and paste it down. Now in this text file, I'm going to add my designation which can be a process engineer or a chemical engineer depending upon your area or your research background. So now just add different color to the designation so that it looks a bit different from the name and also doesn't get much highlight or much attention. So just decrease the size a little bit to see the text is not too big in comparison to the whole page or whole slide or the area for your CV. Just try to make appropriate size. So in here for the name title I use 18 and for the smaller designation I use 14. So this is just an introduction. You can add your own introductions. This is just a small sample or reference. This is not a recommended one. I just wrote some lines so just to cover the space for introduction to just, sh to, just to show an example to you guys. So now once you are done with this, remember that the title has the biggest font, then the designation with the smaller font and then comes introduction with more smaller fonts. So you can keep uh, you can keep this trend, you can keep this uh, format like the biggest comes with the name, then the designation, and then the introduction. Now I'm just making a small background for my picture. I made use a circle to make show my picture, and in that I use a, one more circle without a fill. So with that circle, I'm going to click here and go to fill and insert a picture. I'm going to add my own picture here just for an example. Adding a picture or do not adding a picture is completely your own choice. But some CVs recommend not a picture or some CVs do recommend a picture. It varies and differ from place to place. So like I said, this CV is only for a reference how you can use PowerPoint and make a design like this. And the CV format may vary from person to person. From a musical background or from a graphic designer background, the CV may vary. I'm just making a small sample so that it can may help for those who are just new in this field and can help learn and make their own for CVs. Uh, now I'm just adding small adjustments to the picture. I'm looking at whether this picture looks good on the top or looks good in the middle. So now let's just go to icons and I'm going to copy some icons which I will be using for my personal information. For example, now if I want to show my contact number, my mobile address, my email address, my home address, I'm just going to use small icons to represent it more effectively. So this icon is just for contact mobile number and then or email address and then I'm going to use this mobile phone to show my mobile number and then I will show the pin drop icon as my e-home address and then the message with an email inside I'm going to show it as my email address but now the message and email address look pretty much same so I'm going to do something I'm going to align them on the right hand side first and then I'm going to work on the other parts let's copy this text from here and then paste it in front of this message icon I'm going to write my email address here after writing your email address, you can adjust the empty space. 
then we can work on the mobile number. Just Ctrl C copy and paste it down and make sure they are aligned with the top one. Now you can add your country code first followed by your own number. The reason why you're adding a country code is if you are sending your CV abroad, they may contact your international number. Now we are going to work on other parts. Look what the email address is same so I'm going to use some other icons which I'm just going to copy right away. So just to save time, I'm going to copy some more initials which includes the LinkedIn profile and I'm going to remove its background and then going to place it here. You can simply remove background by clicking on shape format and remove background. I'm going to adjust the scrub size and I'm going to paste it here. You can add your LinkedIn ID and Auric ID depending upon your uh, your research. Again I said like if you are a researcher your Auric ID and LinkedIn profile will greatly impact your CV and profile. Do look for spelling mistakes or some other mistakes. Once you are done with that what you can do is I'm going to add a small block here just to show different sections of my profile. So this one is the main block I'm going to use as a rectangle. I'm going to give a color, black color and remove its outline. Just to emphasize on this part I use this rectangle to make it more prominent. Now I can remove its outline and make sure this block doesn't go outside the border. And then I'm going to reduce the outline for the front part to the down part so that I don't have any outline anymore. So this shows that my first part is done and complete. Now let's just add one more line here and then you can increase the width of the line and change it color to the blue color as used in the background of the image using eye dropping too. Now just copy the text file again. Once you are done with the copying you can replace this one with your own section. For example if this is the work experience section you can change the text as a work experience and you can reduce the font size to 14. You can adjust the placement make sure the work experience and the name and the title are in line. Work experience may vary from person to person. Somebody may have a small work experience and somebody may have extensive work experience. So depending upon that, you can cover your space according to that. Behind, below the work experience, you can add your designation with which you work at that particular company. I'm going to write my designation here, followed by another text file, text uh, box which in, in which I'm going to write the company's name. I used to work as a process safety officer at the Walt Ice Cream Factory in Unilever and well there I just worked for one year. So I'm just going to fill those requirements and I'm going to see for spelling mistakes. Let's just remove the bold uh, format and then uh, let's just adjust the space between the designation, work experience title and the name. So let's just adjust the size of the uh, factory name or the company name and below that copy the file text file box again and then insert the time duration in which you work for in that company. So I'm adding my initial time when I joined the company and I'm also going to add the uh, date in which I'm resigned from the company. Let's change the color for this one and I'm going to use uh, light blue color same as the background of the picture and here in this I'm going to write the location which is Lahore Pakistan situated in Lahore. So again as I said CVs format may vary from person to person. This is just an example for those people who are just new. Also, different countries may vary their own CV formats. Some European CV formats are different from the Western Union formats. So it all depends on where you are applying and what you are applying for. Uh, also, also depends upon your academics. For example, if you are a person from a research background, then you need a different kind of CV. So this one is particularly for some professionals with some good experience and then you can use it as a template. So this text file which I just added can show your uh, highlights for your work experience. For example, if you work at that company, you did some had some achievements or you had you achieved some goals or did some uh, great achievements which uh, had a great impact on your performance, you can just mention them here. I'm just copying the same text file just to show that one person moved from one company to another one just to show and just to cover that you can cover this much of space or more space depending upon your own skill set or your own work experience. Now I'm just going to keep the other text same uh, now we'll move to the second section but before that let's see what we can do for the second part. Now the work experience is done below that we can add another, uh, another section for education. Now in the latest CV format it is recommended to be in the reverse chronological order which means that the latest comes first and then comes the oldest one. So I'm going to add my latest qualification which is MSc in chemical engineering and then followed by my university name and the country which is Pukyong National University, Busan, South Korea. Now I will be adding the date, when did I start my MSc and when did I finish. I started in March 2017 and I graduated in March 2019 in two years. I'm going to copy this 
text file again text box again and i'm going to write my research project title i'm going to change it to blue because i don't want to highlight light it too much just for example just to look better i'm going to add my title for the project so it depends upon you whether you want to write your title of the project or whether you want to add your cgpa you can also follow this master in chemical engineering followed by research publications but as i made a separate section for this one i'm going to represent or i'm going to show them in a separate block at the end of the in this video so now just copy the uh, location file location text box from the top into add busan south korea so if you have added here so i will remove i have removed the uh, location name from my university let's just copy this text file again and then you can change the msc to bsc in chemical engineering and then you are done now let's just copy the block again so what you can do is hold ctrl and shift click that icon and you can drag them easily without copying them so now let's just work on the last part which is the language part now copy the text again and then change the education to language you can change the font from capital to uppercase to smaller case by just going to the top menu and you can do that from there now let's just adjust it in the middle of this blue block and then copy the text from the top now let's just write the languages that we can speak for example english korean spanish if any one can speak or urdu so in this case i'm just adding four languages just to cover space again i personally think that when applying to countries like korea or china you must uh mention the language that you can speak because uh, it's really it really does matter when you apply here for some job that either you can speak korean or not what is your skill level for korean or not it really has a great impact on your recruiter so i just use block this time because circle is too way too normal to use i'm just going to use a, a rectangle this time just to be a bit different now let's just copy control shift and drag it down copy this file again and then paste it on the top and make them gray now i'm going to give another color to this one because the background one has a gray color just to make to show that this is a fill i'm going to show them as some things are empty and some things are full depending upon the scale level now let's just remove the boxes for the left hand side and let's work on the right hand side now again copy the text file here and go to the next part in this part i'm going to write and work on my skills so it depends what kind of skills we have it can be softwares or it can be depending upon again your research background for example my skill sets include different softwares but to show them what is what are the level what is the level of the expertise do i have i'm going to show them as like in a below format i just use a table to show the margin line so i'm going to remove the fill from in this inside and then i'm just going to show simple bars which will show the starting point of my skill and the ending point of my skill representing the level of skills that i have so i started with a black point with a inside color with a light blue color just to represent the uh, as a number which shows that each block carry a certain percentage which means 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. I'm going to represent each of my scales based on this value, and I'm going to represent them using a bar, which can be represented in a below format, and I'm going to show you right away. So let's just adjust the scale first, so that it doesn't look too filled. I'm going to drag it down a little bit, so that I can use it as a reference. Now let's just text, copy a text file again, change the text to a certain scale. Now I'm going to add the scales one by one. To keep it simpler and to keep it short, I just made this uh, one section for you guys to see how we can do it and then I repeated the process for the other ones. Now simply control shift and you can drag any text box down. When you press control and shift, it will directly copy your text file. Now just add a small rectangle here and give it a white background and you can give it a um, blue uh, outline. So once you give it a blue outline and the gray or white background, it will show as an empty box. But once you are done with this, what you can do is you can hold Ctrl and Shift and you can drag it down and make sure they are aligned in the middle of the text. Similarly, do it for the other items. Now, copy them again and then paste them again on exactly on the same place. Now, add a fill to this one and change it to dark blue and remove its outline. Now, drag this shape a little bit back or forward or keep it full depending upon the set of skills you have. For example, if I have 60% of MATLAB skill, I'm going to reduce it to 60% or the fourth point. Similarly, if I have 80% or like intermediate or high level uh, level for SAM software, I'm going to add it or remove it through the previous point. Similarly, you can repeat the same steps for any other software skills that you have. Now let's just remove the space uh, which I don't need for the skill section. 
I'm going to go to my next section which will include my domestic or international conferences and my publications. So now I'm just aligning the text file here, copy the text file again, drag it down to this block and then change the heading. Now let's just edit this and write honors and awards in this title and copy the text file again from the left hand side and paste it over here. To save time, I just copied some reference or some, some sample text and I'm going to paste it over here. So if you want to keep a source formatting, you can right click and click on A and then you will have the same font as the font that you are already using in your current file. Now this is just a reference example. Uh, you can use your own honors and awards depending upon your own profile. So I'm going to add bullet points to these ones and similarly I'm going to repeat the same process for the other two sections which includes the publications and international conferences. The number of publications may vary from person to person. In my case I had only one so I just copied another one, the same publication and made it twice so that it can cover the below space. For other people it might vary and may have extended publication list. You may extend to a second page depending upon your own experience or experience level because if people have more experience they do have a lot of things to cover. You can save the slide as an image or export as a PDF depending upon your own choice. This CV is just an example and just to show how you can use PowerPoint to make your own resume. So thank you for watching if you haven't watched my previous videos and animation and design skills please do watch them and give them a like and leave comments if you have any queries. Till then take care Allah Hafiz.